So let's face it, managing multiple WordPress websites can be a nightmare, especially when you have to handle dozens of websites at the same time. Constantly switching logins, playing catch up with updates and setting reminders for yourself can get old really fast. Now, thankfully, a WordPress management tool can help here. There are many to choose from, but none are specially geared towards Divi users. Until now, introducing Divi Dash, a WordPress management dashboard designed to handle all your website's plugins, themes, clients, all in one convenient location. In the dimension, all of this is free with your Divi membership. So in this video, we are going to take a look at what Divi Dash is and how you can use it to manage your multiple WordPress website from a single dashboard. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you're watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the Divi Page Builder. So let's first talk about the challenges of managing WordPress websites separately. <laughs> So whether you are a freelancer or working for a web design agency, managing multiple WordPress websites is a tricky task. This is especially true when you have to handle updates for dozens if not hundreds of websites. Between remembering multiple logins, keeping track of updates and the time and effort it takes, it can be utterly exhausting. It's easy to feel like you are playing catch up, constantly switching between different WordPress websites and trying to keep track of logins. This is counterproductive and can lead to missed updates, increased stress level and security vulnerability for sure. With so many moving parts, letting one of your sites slip through the cracks is easy. One missed update could be a disaster waiting to happen. And most importantly, neglecting to update your WordPress plugins and theme can seriously affect your website. Outdated plugins and themes often contain security loopholes that hackers can exploit, leading to data breaches or even ransom attacks. Outdated plugins can also lead to compatibility issues, loss of performance and much more. And thankfully, there is a better way to manage multiple WordPress websites from a single location. And the solution is a WordPress management tool. Now, one of the best things you can do for your productivity and your sanity is to use a WordPress management tool. These tools allows you to manage multiple WordPress websites from a central location. They can keep track of plugin and theme updates, handle security issues, and handle a lot of day-to-day -day manual tasks that you have to do individually on each site. WordPress management tools are a great way to manage your time more effectively allowing you to focus on most important tasks like SEO optimization, design and content changes. And this is the place where Divi Dash comes in. Divi Dash is available for free with a paid Divi membership. With it, you can manage unlimited websites, whether you are using Divi or not, and you can easily set a schedule to perform updates so you can set it and forget it. With the time you will save with Divi Dash, you can concentrate on growing your business and not worrying about time-sucking maintenance tasks. Additionally, by adding Divi Teams to your membership, you can assign new users to specific websites and manage their roles. And as an added bonus, it's extremely easy to use. And as mentioned before, Divi Dash is available for free with your paid Divi membership. If you are not a Divi member already, then make sure you sign up for $89 per year or you can also opt for $249 for a lifetime license. So once you are done with purchasing your Divi membership, we can now get down to the real business. Let's start by demonstrating how to access Divi Dash and link your website. All right, so now let's see how we can access Divi Dash and add our website in it. So for that, we need to visit elegantthemes.com and here in our account, we need to click on this. And here, once we enter our members area, we get an option for dash on this second option. And once we click on this, we can see the websites that we have already added in Divi Dash. Now, in order to add a new website, we just need to click on this add button here. And here we just simply need to enter the website URL, WordPress admin username and the password. All right, so once we enter the URL username and the password for our WordPress website, we are now ready to add this in our Divi Dash. So we just simply click on add website and it's going to take a few seconds and boom, our website is added here. So we can close this dialog box from here or we can simply jump on to the website dashboard. 
but let me show you how we can do that so let's close it from here so now we have two websites added and we can see the overview of both of these sites here <laughs> Now let's see how we can update our individual websites. So we need to go to websites from here and here we can see both of our websites that are added. So we have just added this website so we can click on this and here we get an overview of all the things related to this particular website. Here we can see all the updates that are pending. We can see all the themes and plugins installed on this website. So here we can see we have DV theme installed, which is active right now. So we can get rid of all the other three themes. So we can simply delete them from here. So this is how you can remove unwanted themes and plugins. And if we scroll down a little bit more, we have system report to see all the technical stuff related to WordPress and our website. And after that, we have an optimization section here. We can handle the spam comments, post revisions, post in trash so if there is any post in trash you can also get rid of that so we can just do it from here and if we scroll down a little bit more we have site users and this is website notes where we can add some notes related to this website for future references so once we click on any website on our dv dash we get a complete overview how we can manage that site <laughs> Now, if there is any update related to our website, we can now go to update section. Now, in order to do any update on our DV site, we can go to update section and this will show us if there is any update pending for any of our website added in DV dash. So here we can see we have a pending update here and we have one theme update. So if we scroll down, we can see for which website we need to do this update. So if there are more than one update, so they will be listed below this and you can simply click on select all and you can update everything that is listed here. In order to see the details about the update, we can simply click on this down arrow and you will be able to see we have a theme update on this website. So this is how we can update all the websites that we are managing using DV dash from just one click. <music> Now, if we come back here on the website section and and let's go to this website and now if in case we want to add a new user to this site, we don't have to log in in the WordPress backend. We can do it right from here. So here in this section, we can see the site users and in order to add a new user to this website, we can simply click on add users and just fill up these basic details and we can assign the role for the new user that you want to add and then simply click on add new user and that new user will be added in the WordPress backend of that particular website. So you don't have to log in in the WordPress website individually to create a new user. <laughs> Now in order to add a new client here, we have an option for clients. Let's click on this. And in order to add a new client, we can simply click on add client button here and we can enter the details about the client. And most importantly, in order to assign a website to client, we can click on add site. And here we can see the list of sites that we are working on or that are added in DV dash. So we can choose any website from here. And the website will get assigned to the client that we will add using this form. So let's go ahead and enter some sample details here. And if I click on add new client, this is going to add our new client with a website assigned to it. Now there could be a situation when you have multiple sites assigned to a single client. So in order to see what websites are assigned to that client, you can simply click on the client name here and you can see the client details and the website assigned to your client. And once again, you can also add clients notes here. Along with that, we have various sections like themes. If we click on this, we will be able to see all the themes installed on various websites that are added in DV dash. So here we can see we have different themes. So two of our sites are using DV and two of our sites also have this theme and one of our site also have these two themes. So if you are not using them, we can simply handle them from here. So here, if we click on this theme, we can see that more details that this website is using this theme, which is not active. So we can delete this inactive theme from here. In the same way, we can handle plugins as well. So if we go on the plugin section here, 
We can see all the plugins installed on various websites and we can do the handling from here. Along with that, we have an option for permissions where we can assign different permissions to various team members that we add in DV Dash. And now these team members are the one which we handle using DV Teams. So we can add a team member to DV Dash to handle different tasks and different websites. And all that we can track using history. And using our history tab, we will be able to track the history of activities done by different team members. So this is how easy it is to manage multiple WordPress website using a common dashboard with the help of Divi Dash. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And to watch more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one.